I see this a lot. Parents arguing with their kids. It reduces authority. And to, so to come right to the point, parents do not argue with your children. Peers argue with each other. And, you know, some kind of, sometimes arguing can be good or sometimes it's, it's not so good. But do not argue with children because it puts you on a level where they will not respect your authority. Siblings can argue. They can have a spirited debate and it works out just fine. But if your kids are arguing with you and you are arguing back, you've put yourself in a position where they are not going to trust you and to trust what you say. Now, I'm not saying never explain. I'm not saying never uh, teach your kids about the things that you uh, are, are trying to have them learn. You know me. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. Um, I, I talked to one mother, and I said, you know, I think your, your, your kid has been taught to argue with you because you, you do it. You, you participate in that. And she said, I, I know it, and I know it's a problem, and we argue all the time. But I can't seem to get out of it because he argues with me continuously. And I said, well, here's what you do. Next time this starts, you do this. You close your mouth and you don't say anything. And he may be doing some of this. That's okay. Do not argue back. It takes two people to argue. And if one of your children or, or more of your children has gotten in the habit of arguing, um, I, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you're complicit in that. They've done that because you've allowed it. And so it, it, do whatever you can to break the habit uh, in the family um, of arguing with the kids. And I think you'll like what happens right away. It will teach the kids that you mean what you say. And, you know, you really allow them to behave badly if you have allowed them to develop the habit of arguing.